Power API specification is at a point where it's been hardened enough and it's been useful enough and the time is right that we can actually have very large impacts. The Power Application Programming Interface, or Power API, is the first open source, portable, and scalable mechanism for measuring and controlling power in high performance computing. Developed by Sandia Labs in collaboration with a community of experts, it's being deployed around the world, enabling better power management and significant energy savings. The measurement capabilities of the Power API allows you to understand what the requirements of an individual application are prior to running it. The control aspects of the Power API allow you to intelligently schedule or intelligently control which applications are running and when. Using Power API could easily take the equivalent of 20 million cars worth of CO2 out of the atmosphere per year. So it has both a monetary benefit as well as an environmental benefit. All the discovery that computer systems allow requires behind-the-scenes infrastructure made up of individual supercomputers and huge data centers that require massive amounts of energy. And usage is growing, with the U.S. Department of Energy predicting data center and supercomputing power consumption to be 20% of total U.S. energy spending by 2030. Sandia's Power API helps solve some very important problems in HPC around power consumption. Power consumption has become a major issue because energy costs make up a big part of a supercomputer's total cost of ownership. On top of that, power also constrains systems performance. People are certainly starting to take a look at their overall power bills, how to manage their power, why they care about power. We're actually reaching a point at which the facilities themselves are having difficulty physically delivering the power we need for our systems, which is problematic. Initial research involved the largest computers in the world, but to serve different levels and types of users, the team reached out to developers of competing products who came together to make Power API the standard interface with hardware for all major computer manufacturers. Before Sandia's efforts, lots of vendors and various supercomputer centers were trying to create controls to better manage system power. But everyone was doing their own thing, leading to confusing and incompatible interfaces. Sandia created a unified API that brings order to this landscape and encourages vendors like us to create a consistent set of capabilities. The Power API is a set of interfaces that uh, provide a common common kind of viewpoint that different roles throughout the system can use from uh, the system administrator to actual application users. This gives everybody a common base to build on and uh, a, kind of a common language to speak as they try to tackle the power challenges going forward. The common base still allows manufacturers to keep their own unique protocols. We love for the vendors to have their value add they're, they're a little something extra that they want to present to their users. And so we have a way to incorporate that so that what is common is supported in a portable way and uh, what is not common is still allowed and available to the users in a way that's consistent with the rest of the system. HP is the largest server manufacturer in the world. At 30 billion a year roughly of annual revenue, it means that we sell a lot of servers. Those servers will not only go in HPC, they will, but they will go in the enterprise. They will go into the hyperscalers, the search engines, and other entities in the government. So it's very important for us to really not only be a, a good server manufacturer, but also be a sustainable player in the industry. The Power API really aligns with that objective because not only it's open, but it actually enables our broad customer base to be able to basically use their, their equipment and drive their facilities in a more energy efficient way. Researchers are confident their community investment is leading to long-term solutions for energy efficiency and software development costs, and even ways to maximize science. Smart management of power and energy leads to greater performance per watt and more scientific discovery from an existing center's infrastructure. And there are some cases where we can actually save power and increase performance at the same time, allowing us to do more science with the systems that we have uh, and push the boundaries of science that much faster than we otherwise could have. 
we can control the things that are immediately in front of us and for us at Sandia National Laboratories, that is the supercomputing facilities, being able to construct a system such as the Power API that has the potential to be far more reaching across entire data centers can really have a profound impact on the entire world's energy consumption, which is something that we're excited about.